Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over how you start a design. So how do you get the creative juices flowing? How do you get the ideas? Everything from the blank canvas stage to a full design. I created a design brief for today's video, so I'm going to go through that with you now. We're creating a travel app that must have at least four icons on the home page menu. That is going to be what I'm listing out now. And we're not going to be designing all those pages, just the home page, but we at least need to know what they are for the icons to symbolize those. We're going to be using a minimalist style. This is going to be a white theme with no specific color scheme set. So we have creative freedom there. And lastly, we need to have a creative way to symbolize customer reviews. All right, so as I said, the first step I take is listing out the different screens that we're going to be using and kind of putting an icon off to the side and selecting uh, the final icons that are gonna go on our menu. So essentially what I'm doing is working from top to bottom. So the first thing we have up top is the menu. The next is gonna be like the main content section and so on. Also, when you're listing out screens, you can list out features that you need, such as a like button, ratings, anything like that. I didn't do that here because I felt it wasn't necessary, but just everything you need in your design to make sure that it functions properly, go ahead and list that out, and that's going to make sure you don't forget while you're designing. It's a good tip to do. Okay, so this listing can be effective if you're having creative block. Uh, as you're listing this out, you'll say, oh, well, this icon can go next to this one, and this feature needs to go below a heading, and you can kind of piece things together a little bit, I've found. Another good thing to do is create a mood board. So go to Dribble and Behance and search up what you're doing, so travel app. This way you can get some ideas and maybe there's some things you haven't thought of that you just kind of see that other people are doing and you can kind of make that your own. But just make sure if you're going to do this, you're not copying someone else's work, obviously. Okay, so the next step you'll see me doing here is just creating some basic sketches. So I drew out my header and I got all my navigation good to go. The next thing I thought about is a good way to display these trips. So uh, obviously we need an image and then we're probably going to need a title. And you can list these things out as well. Uh, and then you're going to need some kind of price, some ratings. And just once you list those out in your head, you're going to try to piece together a way to put them in your design. So that's what I'm doing off to the side here. I'm blowing this up in a larger view and trying to add a little bit more detail. So the idea I had was like when you hover over an icon, it shows their emoji. But then I remembered we we're on a app, so we're not going to be able to hover. So we need a way of displaying this emoji so I kind of overlaid that on the person's user profile image and we're going to do a emoji rating. So I thought that was a cool way of getting a people's opinions. So they can rate it five stars, but they really loved it or they just liked it. I thought this was a good way to illustrate people's opinions a little bit more. And I just laid out this card with all that content that I knew I needed in a good organized way. And then I'm just going to duplicate that card down the screen and then that's our home screen done. So here on the final mock-up phone screen I have, I'm gonna just draw this out and make sure that I'm getting things aligned correctly. So I've established that the left icon uh, at the top is going to be aligned with all of my content. And then the far right icon is gonna be aligned with the user profile icons. And you'll kind of see what I mean as I'm sketching here. I'm shaping things out to get the spacing correctly and just making sure everything is nice and clean and organized. And then I laid out another card below that to see if I needed a separator line or not. It looks like I can pull it off with white space here. And that's what I do to get everything ready to start a mock-up in Adobe Experience Design. So to quick recap before I go, while you're designing your app at the beginning, you want to make sure that you're listing things off so you're not forgetting elements. And that's going to help you kind of think about how things need to be pieced together kind of in your background of your head. And while you're doing that, you can section the app off into pieces. I find that's the best way to look at things so I don't get overwhelmed. One thing I forgot to mention is make sure you're keeping your sketch real light and loose and you're not going too detailed too quickly. You don't want to overcomplicate things and that'll keep things moving at a nice pace. Add all this together with some nice research and a mood board and you should be over your creative block and have a solid start to any design. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe for more UI related content, and as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Thanks for watching the video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you, and the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.